Hey guys, what is up? Llama here with a game called Sunlight. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really like sunlight. As you know, I'm a ginger. Uh, sunlight is very much not what I enjoy. But maybe this little tree is going to change that. I don't, I don't know. He likes sunlight. I mean, I might not like sunlight, but he might like sunlight. We're a little... Oh! Are we already growing? I have no idea even what the controls of this game Welcome. are. Welcome. Oh, hello! Are you sitting comfortably? Are you focused? No. And not thinking about whatever's bothering you these days? Absolutely not. I think about that every single day. I'm not here to test you. Please relax. Let your thoughts no. come and go and listen as they fade away in the distance. Maybe this isn't a good game to record. <laughs> for better or for worse, this is where your life has brought you. Interesting. Looking at a screen. So it's supposed to be a scenic game, I guess. A serene game. Imagine I love the artwork, though. For a moment. That you've just had a child. Uh, I do have a child. Healthy, Where's he at? Stumbling. But unfortunately also completely blind. Oh, he's not blind, that's for sure. He's freaking annoying. For their whole life. Oh, there he is. They will live in the dark. Child. And not see a thing. Their will perception you not see a thing? Are you blind? is something that you might never be able to comprehend. How would you describe the world to them? I... What, what can't what is be this? touched or This isn't really a game at this point. ...smelled or tasted. How would you oh. describe sunlight? I... Don't ask By me. The dog's does. freaking crazy. Or how it feels on their skin? I think I'd play them this piece of music. Okay. First composed by Tchaikovsky in 1878, I... these rays of light have traveled through decade after decade, finally reaching your ears this very moment. Okay. I... You have also traveled far to get here today, but you're only passing through and should probably get going. Whoa, wait, wait, I can control the game now. Uh, hello, big tree? It's like watercolor. What is this? Rock. I'd like to tell you a story. It all happened to me when I was young. Wait, am I going in a forest towards someone else? You are. Those were days filled with boundaries and rules. Of, of no running, running in the hallways. Don't do this or that or the other. Okay. With, With my, my world full of fierce So each of them have like a different voice to it. That's kind of creepy. To breathe. One day, deep in the woods, I found a funny looking tree. Crooked, old, and wrinkly. With little work, a few bits of bark became huge chips. Oh, okay, that's the birch tree, I guess. Turn to ferocious what, what is my objective here? I can still recall people. It's a little creepy, actually. Downstream. All the voices this going at once at you. That's why I turned on subtitles, by the way, because I knew I was going to be talking over this, and I'm going to have no idea what they're saying. On the old tree. I noticed something peculiar. What, what tree? Where am I going? It's crying. It How does a tree cry? Like eyes closed tightly. Clear drops streaming. Like just every now and then you get like this sudden just voice that you hear over all the rest of them. It's so weird. It's kind of creepy. It's supposed to be like a serene game, but it's more creepy than serene. Like I feel like Slenderman's just gonna show up at any point. The first drop made my tongue tingle. Let me make the let me make sure I'm not like missing anything on controls. Oh made it crook. From the very moment the fur landed on my tongue. Okay, so I can pick a up a profound sensation and spread place my stuff? chest. Undefinable, like thirst, but very I specific. One thing was clear. Something was changing within me. I remember breathing in. It, was I not supposed to leave the tree? Have I already messed up? I have no idea how to even get back to the big, big tree. Um, okay, is nightfall happening? 
I get like shivers down my spine. Oh, there's something glowing. Wait, I gotta go to the glowing thing because apparently that's where I need to go. Okay, little tree. Can I pick you? Can I just like ruin all the progress you made real fast? Oh, I picked it! <laughs> I walked a slight prickle in my fingertips. I studied them closely, discovering circular ridges in a foreign landscape. Okay, what do I skin. what do I do with it? It's like I could place it too, but where do I place it? Slipped my attention. It would be another week until it returned. A wave of gentle needles moving over my skin. Do I place it on this. And then no. falling asleep, perhaps. Where do you want? I did not start worrying until it returned for the third time. First making its way onto my neck. Before engulfing my skull completely from behind. I can what? feel the tiny needles. What is it even talking about? Eyeballs. What is coming after me? But it did not stop there. Are they talking about the sunlight I still? Like that's breath. creepy. As the small thorns crawled around my lips before spreading into my lungs and stomach. Okay, the wind's back, the I wind guess. Spread with it, and I remember the strangest sensation. Okay, I see something in the distance over there, but I feel like that's just. What is that? Is that a building? My hand. Like, is, is that a building in the distance? Oh. Okay. Why is everything moaning? This game's getting creepy. Like this game's actually getting creepy. I'm I'm actually like shivering because like I don't know what to think. Suddenly, my, my body took control, control and opened my, my mouth. mouth. An explosion of air rushing into my lungs. Uh. The tingling spread with it. Soon reaching my beating heart for a moment, I stood in awe of the activity what? in my body. Oh, I thought that was something. That's just another plant. I swear to God, the longer I play this game, the more stuff I think is like moving in the background, guys. is your only vessel in this world. All the voices like converging is so creepy too. Because they all have like their different spots that they can go in, and it's so creepy to listen to. Seek help, I thought. And at that very moment, the tingling needles shot from my brain down to my spine. I felt them scattered to uh. my upper leg. The muscles contracted to lift my knee. My body was shifted, shifted forward, and a shockwave spread from the foot what? sole as it landed softly on the ground. The process repeated itself in greater detail for every step. Okay. I was overwhelmed, but my body kept moving. Where, do I, where am I putting the flowers? You had me pick these flowers. I did not I... at all feel like the boss giving directions. It all okay. happened automatically. And I was simply along for the How long is this game too? I don't know. Like you. Okay. Uh, do I go pick more flowers? What? Okay. The, the music's also getting kind of spooky. Things are getting kind of spooky ooky over here, and I don't know if I like it or not. Uh, that one looks different, but this one's closer. They're so far apart. The doctor's office was cold and white. What the hell? Crossing the floor. <laughs> Why'd everything get bright again after I picked another flower? What do I do with these? My parents' distant features of the landscape. I wanted to what if I just keep walking in a direction? What happens? Amazing. Like, what could possibly go wrong if I just I keep walking in this direction? Myself in the audience, observing the words performed. 
Like, this is not where I came from, but you know what? I'm sure it will pass. While my thoughts were crying for help. The game is so serene and beautiful, and I'm just like, dumb, dumb, not understanding what is going on. Dumb, dumb, give me some gum gum already. I, I guess I, I play so many action packed games that a game like this, which is just so serene and so just gentle, is like just such a like culture shock to me now. Kept going, but I stopped paying attention. Instead, I was following the hands of a clock mounted on the doctor's wall. Okay, so now I'm at the doctor's office. They were both speeding up and slowing down. I don't like the doctor. I don't want to go. Even though I got to go and get medicine, but that's besides the point. I don't want to. Don't want to go. Doctors are good. I'm just stupid. It was running on again with the binary with the electronic circuit and so on. What? Now we're talking about electronics? Believe me. First, I spent some time with my bones. Among their many functions. What? I got lost in their continuous breathing. An uninterrupted. What are you talking about? It looks like a squirrel over there, by the way. What are you talking about? Okay, the wind's back. Do I get to pick another flower? Creepy. My skeleton was alive and living in. And of itself. I no, not, not quite how that worked, but okay. To the known, to the clattering of thoughts, the buzzing of memories and fears for the future. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm lost in the woods, guys. I'm just like frozen too. I'm lost in the woods. Sunk comfortably. Guys, it takes forever to walk anywhere. Somewhere behind my face. But there was nowhere to be found. And the more I looked, the more hazy I became. Sure. Sure. Hazy. Yep, it's becoming dark again. Ah. Flower. There's basically no flowers any closer. Okay. We're walking to the flower because it takes a billion years to walk anywhere. And I'm going to pick it, and there's going to be another thing of dialogue, because this game is all dialogue. So I'm sorry up front. I didn't think this game was going to be like 99% dialogue. Oh, it's red. Like blood. Like mine when I die in these woods. Whoa. Okay, why is it angelic? Eventually opened. They felt as slow as a sunrise. A little tiny bush. Photons converted to neuro signals they're like shooting along the optic nerve, each carrying a piece of information into the darkness. Okay. The brain categorized. There are no achievements, color, I guess. What is what does the discussion say? I sat I'm looking at stuff in the background. Dusk, watching the sunrise. Kids music, please add achievements. A code narration stops or resolution. Okay. I was no longer wondering why matter lights up from the inside. <laughs> My experience. How long is the game? The fire to the light it emits. But it would get much stranger still. Yeah, I think I I think this game is not the experience I was thinking it was. It is definitely supposed to be a surreal game where you're supposed to take in everything that's being talked about really think on it and just ponder and i'm over here wandering instead of pondering uh and i probably sound like an absolute just buffoon but you know what it's fine i'm picking my flowers i'm going about my day i'm totally not going to get killed in the woods you know it's fine as the moon stretched i started daydreaming or so, or so I thought. I thought. At daydreaming now. Cool. It okay. As a shimmering, as a shimmering field, creeping slowly in. See, if it didn't have all the voices, it wouldn't be as creepy. I 100% think that's what's making this game creeper than anything else. We're already at 15 minutes, and I have made zero progress in this game, and I have no idea what's happening. But you're going to get the whole entire thing because I have to sit through this shit, so everyone else has to sit through it, okay? And among them, 
myself. So just just take it in. Just, just tone me out and just take in all the atmosphere and just think through it. Myself. I was surprised to still see the clock straight ahead. I have made no progress in this wood. I have just kept walking in straight lines, and I still can't even find the tree I started at. The two images were not overlapping. They just okay did i find another yeah i found another opening okay with your eyes closed oh there's a tree in the middle of this one though it's not the same tree at the same time but it is i turned to look towards myself it's a child but saw only the face of the doctor the doctor lingering somewhere between confusion Concern and annoying. However, when no, when no, 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 not doing that shit. No, nope. not listening to a child say this. That's going to make it even more spooky for me. I don't know why, but it's going to absolutely make it more spooky. No. I turned to look straight into my own eyes. I felt my own head reach you out. You mean a mirror. Towards myself. The weight of my own landing shoulder. This is supposed to be so sentimental. Eyes distant, looking at the doctor, looking at myself, rules and boundaries disappearing. Okay. Another flower. I, how many flowers am I going to pick up? This one's blue. I do like that there's new flower colors, though. Um, but I'm very much lost in oblivion. I feel like I've missed something. I have absolutely missed something, and I don't know what it is. But I don't think I'm at the end of the game either, so... Yeah. That's a pretty flower, actually. The fire was spreading. A delicate wave of Wait, a fire? Wait, where is this fire coming from? Recollections of past sorrows. Relationships. Education and even medical experience. Oh, we're still back on the doctor stuff. Okay. And at last, I was no longer alone. How many voice actors do they have in this game? Not in the sense that the doctor was there in the room, but rather. I think that's like the we ninth together. voice I've heard so far. In the if not the tenth. I should have kept count. But I think that would have drove me crazier than it already but is. Now, with two observers to share. Burden. Also, y'all are not, uh, it's going to be put in mono, but there is spatial audio, so I'm hearing it all around me, and it makes it even creepier. Uh, yeah, let's go out to this flower. And the angelic music does not help any. I'll tell you that right now. All right, we're making it. Come on. Hello. Uh, get out of my way, bee, flower, leaf thing. Get away. I also love the aesthetic. I love this, like, watercolor aesthetic. And how they just, like, keep just kind of falling into place. And, like, refocusing in. I don't, I don't know how to describe it properly. Oh, we're heading towards a really big tree right now. This is a massive tree. Maybe. Actually, it's shrinking. Never mind. It is getting smaller as I walk closer to it. Uh, okay. But that tree went from humongous to literally being skinny. What, like, I wish that could be me. Tree, teach me your weight loss ways. More clouds spread into my vision. Is this a big pile of shit? And more sensations through my body. No, it's a log. The music was evolving. I like this rock. That's a very nice rock. I looked at my hand. Five fingers. Against, against the surface, though no different than five bodies or minds. Branches have an orgy? becoming aware that they were connected to the same trunk all along. All right, I'm going to be losing my mind here in a minute. I'm going to be honest with y'all. All of them present in um, my mind. Okay, next flower, I guess. Is there a limited number of flowers I have to pick up? It feels like the world's just going to keep going. I don't know. Uh, we'll pick one more flower, and then if this flower doesn't end things, then I'm done. Because I have no idea what's going on. 
I can't place flowers like it said I could do. I, I'm still picking them. I'm wandering. The prickling kept spreading. Each needle on my skin, another presence in my mind. I really hope I don't have to go back to the big tree. That would really suck. Because I have no idea how to get back to that. Unless somehow this world just eventually ends up back there. Like musical sunlight. But I don't think it's going to happen. Every individual going about their business. Strangers on the street, unaware that they were all each other, their surroundings, and me. What? Does this mean? What do the words mean? You and felt myself. I need a freaking English major to tell me what's going on because I don't understand how any of this correlates right now. Less deserving. There was no longer me and you, no us versus them. It was all just me. Is this some like robot dystopian aftermath or something? Where the main character has already has dismantled the entire robot and it's just listening through like a track that the robot saved or something like that's what it sounds like. That's what it sounds like. Some dystopian future after everything's been destroyed and all life is essentially gone. And all this has grown back, and I'm like one of the only survivors listening to the tales of woe. As I kept breathing in and out, each new breath pushed me along a ubiquitous landscape. They're also using some really big words. Too beautiful to ignore. What they asked each tree beyond your every hill was another idea. I knew to be, to be true. true. There's just not much for me to say. I know I said I was going to only pick one more flower, but I'm just going to make this video 30 minutes long and you all have to deal with it. Will it do bad? I don't know. Um, this isn't really what I thought the video would be. So, yeah, you all just got to deal with it. Sorry, not sorry. Both the whirlpool and the stream. An expression of energy floating through empty space. All experiences... Merged into one. There I was. All of us. You, me, I. Creepy. Creepy, creepy, creepy. Um. Very creepy. Oh, oh, we're on to another flower. Where's the closest one? Uh, yeah, this is the closest one, it looks like. I feel like it's guide it's trying to guide me somewhere I feel like, but at the same time, maybe not. Come here, little flower. Join the bundle, the bouquet I've already got. It's a little messed up, but you know what? It's fine. As with all stories. This one oh, we're finally getting to the end? Not because the story has an ending, but because it keeps moving, leaving us behind. What? My body kept living. Sorry, I'm totally checking my phone right now because preserving its illusion of separateness. It just keeps going. The screen. A very anonymous. Am I getting called out? I feel like I'm being called out right now. I couldn't tell. If I ascended or dissolved, I'm soaring through space, but unable to move, nevertheless. Is this the sunlight talking to me? And as I turn in orbit, the boundary. I feel like this was happening. Dark keeps moving. A cascading wave of thoughts arriving at dawn, dawn. just to slip away at dusk. Okay, another flower. We got five minutes to finish this. Can we speed run the rest of this game? Even though it's slow as hell.
sweet. Well, I feel like it's not gonna end. It almost feels like Bennett thought he just continuously talking and never ending. Safe, well fed, not too warm, not too cold. As we acknowledge by my closest. So even though you are another part of me, looking back, you will always be a stranger. What? A lump of resources for my exploitation. The branch was cut. Our hemispheres got separated once again. That is creepy. Rocks skipping along the surface, never sinking in. The inconsistent dash of beauty between the mice, picked up by a stranger with good intentions, and with it, sentenced to die. I don't care who you are, or how you found me, but we are both reaching in. A few lonely rays, venturing through space, in just the right direction. Okay. Absorbed in our leaves. I guess so. I, sugars. I don't know. I get it. Absorbing sunlight. Sunlight, yes. Moonlight, no. Darkness, bad. Trees, living. <laughs> I'm not sorry for that. If y'all were not expecting that, I'm not sorry for that. You should have been expecting it. Right now. And for a moment, we are together. You and me. As one. Like we always are. And we always will be. Creepy. Oh. Um. Are we at the end of the area? Why is everything getting really saturated? Oh, because the force is getting cut down. Oh. Okay, we finally made it to the end of the game, question mark. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I know this game's supposed to be sentiment, sentimental. And it, it's supposed to mean, like, you know, the deforestation and how we should love sunlight and forest and everything. And, and I'm not trying to be, like, rude or anything. <laughs> oh, puppy. We are one. Everything is love. Hi. I'm sorry. Rar. Exhale. <laughs> Breathe. My mind is a hurricane. Unstoppable. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite tree in the Citadel. Hello, stranger. That was beautiful. Be light of others. Huh. Rip tree. <laughs> Thank you. Paula, good luck, everyone. In the haunting... Cacophony of the forest, the only thing more unsettling is the absence of voice. Wow, that was deep. I have no idea what the hell that says. Um, I... Sure. Um, I guess I'm supposed to plant my... Oh, oh, I gotta pick a tree. Alright, this is my tree then. Okay, this, this one will be mine. There. Llama did not cut this down. I will not be taking... Uh... Yeah. Whoa, the whole force is gone. That was... Okay, so that's the end of the game. Um, not really what I expected. I don't know what I expected. That's not what it was. Maybe this video will go up. Maybe it won't. If it does, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, links down below for Discord and stuff. I will see you all. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Hit that sub button. You know, do this, do that. There's a Discord down below. There's also a Twitch stream down below. But thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Alright, where's that tree to go cut down?